Hey guys, Infuri here. So you may have noticed that you can't disable push to talk or use a controller to push to talk on Halo Reach on PC with the default settings, but I wanted to show you a workaround in which you can use a third party program to get around that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to joy2key.net, uh, links down below. Uh, basically, you want to download this third party program uh, using this top link here. And once you do that, you should uh, and install the program, you should get something like this screen. Okay, so what this program is going to do is it's going to map uh, your controller buttons to keys on the keyboard. So the first thing you want to do is go to settings, configure joystick, uh, go over to advanced settings, and just make sure your controller is connected. Okay, once you see input device one here connected, that should say you're good to go. And then you uh, want to look at these joystick one options. So these correlate to buttons on your controller. So you want to pick a button that you don't use very frequently. I'm going to pick the right on my D-pad. Uh, I'm going to map that button. You can see I've done it here to V. Uh, v is the built-in push to talk button. So now every time you press right on your D-pad, it's going to press V. It's going to act as if it's pressing V on your keyboard. Now, an important thing down here is in this checkbox down here, you want to check yes on toggle between on and off. This will make it so you don't have to press V multiple times and one pre press, press uh, your right on your D-pad multiple times and one press will mean that it will be as if you're holding V for the entire game. So basically you don't have to use push to talk, it essentially is just always communicating. So if we go over here we can see once I press right on my D-pad once, uh, I am now talking and I don't have to push to talk. My, you can see in the bottom, top right corner that my voice is communicating throughout the entire game. I can move, shoot, do whatever. Uh, one thing to note, if you tab out of the game, uh, you will have to push to talk again. And there is a little bit of delay when you push to talk because it's actually registering it as a keyboard input and it's jumping back and forth between your mouse and keyboard and your controller. Um, but generally, uh, it should be pretty easy to use, and as long as you stay within the game, you should have no problem through the entire game. Uh, you should not have to push any button to work around pushing the talk. Um, Alright, so thank you for this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button down below. Um, and if you like this content, please subscribe for more Halo information. We plan to be pumping out some informative content very soon. Thank you.